This is a golden eagle's first flight from the nest. The outstretched six-foot wingspan will someday carry this fledgling across stunning landscapes. With 200-foot cliffs like this one that protected the eagle's nest from the time it was a hatchling until it took its first flight of its life. Waiting below, Dr. Charles Preston and his crew from the Draper Natural History Museum, who have been monitoring this nest for many weeks, were ready to capture this bird and record its incredible eagle attributes for science. But first, they must hood the young eagle to calm it and secure the feet to protect both the bird from stress and the researchers from the sharp talons. Oh, these talons are dangerous. You can see that this one's, you know, three inches long, the hallux, that's it, the that, uh, longest talon. She's got two of those and all of these other talons. And they can grasp and often if they go through flesh, uh, they'll just hold there. They can do a lot of damage. And I, I know uh, um, in one case, uh, a biologist received 14 stitches after a bird about this age uh, grabbed him with uh, with those talons. So they're they're very dangerous. Have to be very careful about what we're doing. Now, right now, I'm sizing it uh, to just see what size band fits well. And we'll see. Here we go. I've got three different size bands that I can use for eagles. And we want to get a fit that allows us some movement here, but not too much space in there. So this one looks really good. This is a 9A band. And so the next step is to go ahead and uh, rivet this band to the bird legs. And how long will it wear that band? For the rest of its life. Why? Dr. Preston and other scientists who study golden eagles want to be able to identify individual birds and track their lives and deaths. This silver band will provide that information from a federal database. The orange band can be read or identified from a distance. It's connected specifically to Dr. Preston's 12-year golden eagle study in Wyoming's Bighorn Basin, east of Yellowstone. He's banded more than 100 eagles in that time. His birds have been identified by their bands from Montana to near Casper, Wyoming. Before this bird is gently placed back near its nest, it is weighed, measured, and sexed. Females are larger than males. Parents will continue to care for their offspring as they explore their new world for at least several weeks. This is only a tiny part of the Draper Museum's long-running Golden Eagle study. A Golden Eagle posse of volunteers monitor dozens of nests every spring. A pilot pinpoints the territories. Preston and his crew capture juveniles and adults under federal and state permits to band and document their condition. And his team even monitors the annual abundance of the Golden Eagle's preferred meal, cottontail rabbits. They also collect and record thousands of prey remains from the nest. If you want to learn more about this and other Golden Eagle studies across North America, visit the Monarch of the Skies exhibition in the Draper Natural History Museum at the center of the West in Cody, Wyoming.